that, but Spore here, um, getting ready to do brew day. I'm going to try two all grains in one day. Plus, I got a bunch of other crap I got to get done here. So, what we got going here first is a British IPA. Second will be an apricot wheat. And there's the British IPA with all the all the stuff. As you can see, I've got my stuff sanitizing in there and sanitized water. Here's the mash tun getting ready. And I've got my I got my mash water heating upstairs on the stove. No sense of waiting, wasting gas on that um, to try and get this first one done. So I'm figuring I'm going to give myself about three hours to get this one done and into the bucket. I'm going to work at it uh, pretty continuous and then uh, we'll shoot on to the next one. I have a bad habit of doing that, but I need to make sure it turns on. <clears throat> Start it okay. Now here we are, got the mash going. I put the, uh, I, I really wish you guys could smell this. When you first put that, them grains in the water, <laughs> it smells great. Right there is doing it all in. Mix it up real good. You want to make sure that you don't have any, oops, any, um, any dough spots we want to have the mash temperature well, that looks really good that's between 150 it's about 158 to 160 degrees which is right within my range on this one so what that means now is we are going to Close this up. We are mashing. So we'll be sitting here and mashing this for about an hour. And, uh, it should hold temperature. It should only drop a little bit. I'm figuring that uh, temperature should drop to about, see, I only ever lose about an, uh, a degree in here. So it should drop down to about 157, 156. And that's going to be perfect. I've already got my hops set up so that I can get in the boil ready. I've got the sparge water heating up upstairs. So uh, we're well on our way. All right, <clears throat> I'm, into the, uh, I'm into the sparge now. I've done one full running. I'm getting ready to do another full running, and I'll do this two or three times uh, throughout this. I'm probably do it two more times, make sure the grain bed settles down. Now what I did here was I actually... I pour about half to three quarters of my sparge water in to stop the 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 mash or whatever you want to however you want to call it. Then we run it out into this pitcher, and I like to just pour it in like along the side. Oops, sorry about that. So that it doesn't affect the grain bed quite as much. Want to get it to run clear and turn this on about halfway. And uh, that's actually a little on the fast side, so we slow it down a little bit, right about to there. And this will be the third time. Once I do that, then um, then what I'll do is is we'll just start gathering the wart, and uh, we're well on our way. We'll catch back here in a couple minutes when we get the boil going. Is it on? Yep, it's on. <laughs> Oh, hey, there we are. This is the best part of brewing. Sitting outside having a beer with your buddy, Mark. Say hi to the camera, Mark. Hi. <laughs> so we're going to enjoy a beer. Mark's having himself with two dogs. I've got the last of my shepherd's pie. Thankfully for that, because it's not near as good as it was before. And there is the IPA starting to boil. And we have boil. First set of hops are in. Countdown 45 minutes, and we'll add the second set of hops. <laughs> righty, I'm gonna try something new this time. We're gonna use the Irish moss. 
But then in the last five minutes, it's supposed to help with clearing. Last dish and the hops is in there. And I also threw in a little pill thing that's a brew vent yeast fuel. Get in there and you can take a look at that. I came with my kit this time. It's supposed to help with the, uh, as a, like an energizer for the yeast. So we're into the last section. We'll start the timer again. Last five minutes of the boil. And uh, we'll be back to cool it down. Okay, you like to do here, stick the wort chiller down in here. And uh, while it's still in a boil, and what that'll do, I'll crank this up. And it kind of will sterilize and make sure nothing goes bad from sticking that in there. <clears throat> Just basically want to get it back to a boil again. And then from that point, we'll take it inside and start to cool it down. You're on. All right. See, now what we're doing here now, folks, is, is cooling the wort down. There ain't no sense of wasting that water. So right in the right in the washing machine it goes. We'll go ahead and do a little laundry with that a little bit later. While it's unloading also, I'm going to go ahead and pull these hot bags out because all they're doing right now is holding the heat and we don't need it to hold the heat now no more. So uh, we're really close to the end of this process. Yeah. So sanitized pitcher. What I'm going to do here is just dip her on out. Take the first couple, actually first quite a few piles of this into the uh, primary ferment tour. Before I actually try and pick this pot up and manhandle it into there. No real point in doing that. Now, the one good thing is not only not only is brewing your own brew very good to do, it's good for the environment because I filled up the washing machine with the hot water that I got out of this, and I'm doing a little laundry too. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're getting ready to go and. and <laughs> Yeah, seriously now. We're going to go throw some shit away. <laughs> Sorry, poop. Now watch my language. It's horrible. And then I'm going to come back and see if I can do part two of brew day. Brewing two brews in one day all grains. I don't have a whole lot of hope that this is going to actually occur. But hey, what the hell? We'll give it a shot, right? Say hello, Mark. No. Okay, he's not saying hello. <laughs> well, brew day didn't really go quite as planned. I thought for sure that uh, I'd be able to get both these brews in today, but it didn't quite work out like I had planned. Ran out of time and energy, and maybe I drank just a little bit too much. But who's to say? Anyways, we'll have beer day part two, maybe. I still have the other brew to do, whatever. And hopefully the... I'll have some company when I do that one because it's always a little bit more fun when you have people to, to play around with. But uh, as of right now, time to sit back and finish my vanilla bourbon oatmeal stout and enjoy the rest of the evening. Cheers from Little Face Brewing.